Yogi Berra famously said, it ain't over till it's over. In 1973, when the baseball team he managed, the New York Mets, was on the verge of being defeated in its effort to go to the World Series, the Mets were able to rally and come from behind to win the division title. As a result, the statement became a well-known rallying cry for underdogs everywhere. Yogi Berra's simple yet profound quote has given strength to many who faced seemingly insurmountable odds. When Berra said, it ain't over till it's over, he was not making a promise or guaranteeing a victory, yet his statement about the possibility of success was enough to give his team hope. I wonder if we have similar confidence in the promises of God. Do God's words give us hope? In the Bible, God has made many promises to His children. Yet, our circumstances can often cause us to lose hope or doubt the truth of God's word. It is understandable to lose faith in God's promises of healing when giving a challenging medical diagnosis. It can be hard to maintain hope in God as our provider when we do not have enough money to pay our bills. At one time or another, we have all been tempted to doubt God's promises. Yet, following Christ requires us to believe in God despite our circumstances. None of us have perfect belief, and we need to turn to God for His help in trusting Him. In his letter to the Romans, Paul encouraged his audience with a story illustrating the faith of Abraham, who is the spiritual ancestor of all believers. Despite his circumstances, Abraham learned to trust God when facing seemingly insurmountable challenges. In Romans 4, 18 through 24, it says this, Against all hope, Abraham in hope believed and so became the father of many nations. Just as it had been said to him, so shall your offspring be. Without weakening in his faith, he faced the fact that his body was as good as dead since he was about a hundred years old, and that Sarah's womb was also dead. Yet he did not waver through unbelief regarding the promise of God, but was strengthened in his faith and gave glory to God being fully persuaded that God had power to do what He had promised. This is why it was credited to Him as righteousness. The words, it was credited to Him, were written not for Him alone, but also for us, to whom God will credit righteousness, for us who believe in Him who raised Jesus our Lord from the dead. Like our spiritual ancestor, Abraham, as we encounter God in spiritual practices like discipleship, mission, fellowship, and celebration, we come to see that He cannot and will not go back on His Word. We may not always understand how He goes about fulfilling His promise, but we should not doubt His faithfulness. God may approach things in ways we may not expect. During those times we find ourselves doubting His ability to fulfill His promises, all we need to do is look to Jesus. In Christ, all of God's promises are fulfilled. He has triumphed over sin and death, and He has assured ultimate victory over all the trials and tribulations of this life. Jesus has the power to raise the dead and make all things new, and He is the one who stands with us in our hard times. In light of God's faithfulness, I would like to amend Yogi Berra's quote, It ain't over till God says it's over. His word is trustworthy and true. These are words by which we should live. Mi nombre es Everticas, hablando de vida. Thanks for checking out this week's episode of Speaking a Life. We hope you enjoyed it and were inspired. For GCI devotional content, subscribe to our bi-monthly newsletter, GCI Update. 
Visit update.gci.org to get the newest issue. Thanks again for watching, and we will see you in the next video.